Hello, Nikki here, your intuitive personal trainer and yoga coach. On this video, we are gonna be going through a grounding technique that you can use during the new moon or the full moon or any time that you feel anxious, scattered, or you feel stressed, or you know, just kinda of all over the place, maybe you're thinking too much, you can use this grounding technique. This grounding technique that we're going to do today can be used during a full moon, during a new moon, it's good to ground during those times. You can also use this grounding technique that we're doing to help calm yourself when you feel scattered, when you feel like your mind's all over the place, when you're doing too much thinking, or you're worrying, um, any time that you feel like you're caught in the what ifs, um, you can do this grounding to, technique to help ground you, to help center yourself, help uh, center your energy. This grounding technique can also help with balancing the root chakra and will also help you feel a lot more calm, especially if you're going through times of stress. Okay, so what you will need is your smiling face and a willing to learn. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna begin. I'm gonna guide you through some deep breathing along with how you can ground yourself and a small visualization. We can ground ourselves in many ways. We can use sound, we can use binaural beats, we can use visualizations. Uh, we can use meditation, chanting, we can also go bare feet on the ground, so going bare feet on the ground or even um, connecting our bare feet to the cement or, or um, doing gardening, working with soil. These are some of the ways that we can ground. One of the ways that I'm going to show you how to ground today is by, we're going to do a short grounding meditation and I'm going to guide you through this of course. I do have my root chakra uh, singing bowl here so you will have some sound in the background along with some nature sounds right now. Okay, ready? All right, so we're gonna sit with our hands in our lap and you can have your hands, have them palms down on top of your knees. We'll take a nice deep breath into our bellies and then we're gonna exhale and we're gonna let out a sigh. Okay, from here, we're gonna to continue to breathe deeply into our bellies. So, Inhaling through our nose, sitting with our spine nice and long, taking a nice deep breath in, filling our bellies up with air. And then exhaling, letting all that air go and still exhaling through our nose. Inhaling, we'll notice that our bellies rise, then our rib cage, then our chest. Exhaling, we'll notice that our chest lowers, our rib cage lowers, and our tummy lowers. Breathing in again, noticing our bellies rise on the inhale, then our rib cage, then our chest. And then exhaling, noticing that we're letting that air go. Once again, exhaling through our nose, letting go of what no longer serves us. On this next breath, we're going to count to four, five, or six on the inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to do the same. Breathing in, and then exhaling the same amount we did for the inhale. Once again, we're still breathing in through our nose and out through our nose. And then exhaling the same amount that we did for the inhale. As we continue to inhale, we're creating space. And then as we're exhaling, we're letting go of what no longer serves us. 
continue to breathe, going with our natural flow that we've created for our breath. Inhaling, we're lengthening upper spine. Exhaling, we're relaxing our body. Breathing in again, this time we'll do a little bit of grounding here. So make sure you are seated in a cross-legged position if you're not already. On this next inhale, you're going to, so on the inhale, we're gonna do what's called Mula Bandha. It's called root lock. So Mula Bandha is root lock. It's a way we can balance our root chakra. So on this next inhale, you're gonna draw energy up so you're gonna tighten in your tummy as you draw energy up through your base. Taking a nice deep inhale, bring that energy up and then exhaling. So it's almost the exact same thing as a Kegel. So if you've done Kegels, ladies, it's the exact same thing. So we're literally lifting the pelvic floor when we're breathing in. So we're gonna do that again, okay? Taking a nice deep inhale, breathing in, lifting our pelvic floor or doing a Kegel. And then exhaling. Good, we're gonna do continue to do that. And as you do this, I want you to focus on what you're feeling there. You know, what you're feeling, uh, do you feel the energy rise, right? I want you to feel yourself connect to, the, to Mother Earth, to the ground. Feel yourself get grounded. So we'll do that again. Breathing in, lifting our pelvic floor, and then exhaling. We'll do that for a few more breaths here. Breathing in, once again, visualizing earth energy coming up we're doing our kegel you should feel your lower tummy muscles get engaged you might even feel inner thighs get engaged when you are activating your mula bandha so once again breathing in lifting our pelvic floor doing a kegel and tightening your tummy just a little bit and then exhaling. We'll do one more. Breathing in. And then once again, exhaling. So some visualizations that you can do during that meditation is you can envision um, roots coming out of your base and you connecting with Mother Earth. You can imagine roots coming out of your feet and the roots are coming up your legs or you know they're connecting to your your waist if you're sitting right so these are some visualizations we can use the other thing too is you can also work with the color red so by working with the color red um red is the color for the root chakra it's also um, can be a grounding color that you can work with so when you're doing that you can also envision red light coming up so as you're breathing in visualizing red light and it's going in a clockwise direction i hope this looks clockwise when i upload this but anyways it goes in a clockwise direction you can imagine that spinning wheel at the base of your chakra okay i would love to hear how this went for you go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know how this grounding te technique went for you and how you felt afterwards anyways hope you're having an awesome day check back for more great videos like this one bye for now see you in the next one Bye for now. See you next time.